Hello and welcome to our video series on Smart FTP. Now in this video, we're going to be showing you how to set up your connection. Now remember, as you're watching this video, you can always use the pause and rewind buttons below the screen to watch and rewatch this video until you have this task mastered. So let's get right to it. Now naturally, the first thing we need to do is to open up our Smart FTP software. And then to set up a connection, let's go on up to File in the top left corner. Click on that. And then click on New Remote Browser. Now down here in the host box, let's enter the site address. Now under path, I usually just leave that blank. Now under the way you want to connect, now you got a few choices there. Again, I just usually leave that as it is, uh, username and password. Speaking of which, this is where we put the username. And the username and password are information you would get from your web hosting company. Usually they'll send it to you in an email. So if you don't have it or don't know where you put it, just go ahead and get a hold of your web hosting company and they'll send it on over to you. And again, this is where you put your password. Now up here under port number, Usually 21 is going to be the default number, so if it isn't, just go ahead and make it 21, unless you're told otherwise. Now, down here, if you wanted to quickly connect to your site, then you can go ahead and add this to your favorites. We'll show you that here in just a second on the toolbar. Then just click on the OK button. We'll find out here in a second if our settings were done correctly. Yep, so far so good. There we are. We have connected. And this page verifies that the connection was uh, made properly to the site. Now let's go on up to the toolbar and click on Favorites. And go down to Quick Connect. Then you can see where we were added to the Favorites. And that's where you would click on if you wanted to quickly connect to that particular site. And you can have several favorites up there. Now if you wanted to delete this connection, then just right click on the site name, select delete, and it will go bye bye. And that's going to bring us to the end of this video on how to set up your connection in Smart FTP.